What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Boyd, and I'm back. It's not over. It's only just begun. Spawning in the bottom of the map, in the red color, playing as Gaia. His name is Yoshi. His opponent today in the blue color, playing as Isis. His name is Shelty. Shelty the snake shelt on. Yes. Shelty coming off the win there, managing to get that bracket reset. We're in the grand finals portion two. This is the second best of five, but these guys met in the bracket before. So technically, this is the third time they have played a best of five this tournament. Insane. Insane. What are the odds? I don't know. You guys can work out what the odds are. You know that my math is terrible and that's just that's just the meme. That's how it's going to go. But, oh, yes. Yoshi's guy. I'm not sure we got to see a whole lot of Yoshi's guy. We'll see what's going to happen here. He does go for a really, really early pickaxe at the moment. He's already got himself a hand axe, so obviously going to go for that fast, uh, the fast upgrades here to kick this one off. There's a lot of really, really fancy sort of Gaia builds that I'm not sure people are 100% aware of where you can kind of like rush out early, like early shaft mine type things, going for like lots of automatons, rush out an early bow saw. Those sort of strategies seem to be like, you kind of stop at hand axe and pickaxe for whatever reason, but there are a lot of fun things that can happen here. We are seeing that Shelty here, he's going in with the Isis. There's lots and lots of different options to play here with Isis. You can go two town center, you can go three town center, you can go one town center, priest siege all in. You can go for a standard one town center timing attack. Um, lots of different options. We are seeing that these players have spawned onto a map with not a whole lot of resources at all. Not a whole lot of resources at all here, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the balls in the base, it seems, as the map is starting to get scouted out. Obelisks coming up all across the map here, uh, getting some good scouting in. And we'll see how things are going to go. Relics on the map being uncovered. The Eye of Horus. This relic, this relic right here. Let me zoom in. This relic right here coupled with this god right here is bonkers. Together they make plus 5 population per town. So that's plus 15 population total. That's 175 population to play with when your opponent's only got 160 population to play with. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Just keep that in the back of your mind. If Yoshi spots that, he's got to make a hero. He's got to he's got to make a hero, and he's got to be thinking about taking that relic for himself. Because you definitely don't want to let the the uh, the ISIS player grab that one. Now, I'm not exactly sure who spotted this. Probably not Shelty here, because he's put the obelisk here. He's put the obelisk here, and he's just scouting out all of his opponent here. Getting good, uh, good vision all throughout the uh, the map there, and it looks like Yoshi is taking it really slow here. So he's not going for a full thirty advance time. He's going for a five minute advance time. This build might be something reminiscent of the old Hotcha from way back in the day. He's probably the first top Gaia player. Um, definitely someone to go back and check out some games. I believe he's, he features in the longest Age of Mythology game I've ever casted video. I believe that was him. Anyways, Hotcha. What he would do is he'd go for a 5.15 advance time. He'd get all of the upgrades in the arcade edge and he'd drop a second town center straight away. That was his idea. Now, another way through this would be to just, instead of going for the town center and risking it on that one, you can actually go for uh, some upgrades. We do see the villager starting to move forward, but the obelisks are already up and Shelty at any point here is going to be able to push forward and put some pressure on. As we do see the relic... Oh! You can't win them all. You can only win some of them. Shelty finds the Eye of Horus. He's going to be taking that one back. But we do see that Yoshi's going to get himself the Scarab Pendant. Now, this relic is actually quite good. Eh? What? That needs updating. That's not fair. Surely this... Okay, we're going to... Remind me, chat. 
like just spam it at me. If we see a fire siphon in this game that is created, remind me to check if this relic functions for that one. It should, right? It should function for the fire siphon. It doesn't say in my tooltip that it does, but it should function for the fire siphon. Anyways. We'll see how things are going to go. Yoshi's dropping down a counter barracks here. Uh, Shelty here. He is late advance. He's at the second age. Can he get himself the armory? The idea here, I think, from Shelty, and I think he's going for a pre-siege, is that because the Gaia has got no food, a pre-siege is going to be really tough to defend because you need to get Contarius out or Destroyers out to defend the the, uh, the Priest Siege. Probably not Destroyers, probably just Contarius. That's generally how it works. Plus the Ford Town Center is going up here. As the Town Center is going to come up for Yoshi, we do see the Automaton coming through here uh, to defend a little bit as the Villagers are going to turn around and get a little Shanky Shank going before returning back to their, uh, their berry bushes. Husbandry coming through as well for Yoshi's is going to be able to jump onto some of these hurdles. He's only got himself three hurdles here. Not the best. In fact, I'm not sure that Husbandry is worth it to grab if you've only got three hurdles. As, um, someone do the math on, on that. I don't think it's worth it for three hurdles. That's a lot of... Well, maybe for Gaia. I'm not sure. Anyways, onwards and upwards. Armory coming up. Two monuments up right now for Shelty in this one. As the, uh, as the citizen here doing what he can nice shanky shanks going on there as just attempting to snipe down that sphinx but the sphinx is going to be able to get out of there 132 whoop whoop whoop, whoop. he's such a sad unit I, I wish you could cancel the sphinx attack i wish you could cancel it don't you guys wish we could cancel it as well We'll see how things are going to go as all of these obelisks starting to get cleaned up and smartly here, Yoshi pushing forward, going to drop some uh, walls down over there. Nephthys is on the way. What's Yoshi's plan? Do we see an armory? A military barracks coming down. Uh, in, in the in the ways of Kvoth, Kvoth will always go for some sort of a semi-fast heroic against the priest siege, against the fast heroic of uh, of the uh, of the Sheltie and. There's no, there's not going to be any surprises here for Yoshi. Yoshi's got to 100% know the Priest Siege is coming from. We know it is because we see the temple, but Yoshi's got to know that it's coming from. He hasn't quite scattered it out yet, but in terms of the strategies that can come for him after a prosperity at 7 minutes and 50 seconds coming through, there's really not a whole lot as we see a mana coming up on this position to stop that town center from getting built at any point there. Siege works coming through as well. Spirit of Mart already on the way from uh, from Shelty. And this is a good timing here, basically, for Shelty. He's also getting himself a Scorpion mana. I like that addition here with the two monuments nice and early. Able to get that Scorpion Man in while Spirit of Mart is coming through, so he's not wasting any gold. And he's going to wait on that Spirit of Mart, get full value from that one. It does cost 180 gold to get this upgrade, but it pays itself off in about five priests or something. It's a really, really valuable upgrade there to grab. And I think even if you're not going for mass priests, it's kind of worth it to grab that um, upgrade as Isis. It costs a little bit more for set, but it's still a very, very worthwhile upgrade if you've got the favor sitting there. But the priest is starting to come through. And Yoshi here, he's got to be panicking a little bit. He's got... <laughs> Kimo is playing for Yoshi. Confirmed. As the as the walls are thrown up all over this place. Uh, but Siege Tower is going to be able to knock those down very, very fast in this one. Double Scorpion Men out. What's the play after this? Farms up in the back of the base here. Uh, one thing I'd like to see from Yoshi is him just like running away with villagers in a way. Just like grabbing this gold mine, grabbing this gold mine, retreating into different nooks and crannies on the map. Because even if a town center falls here for Yoshi, he's been on two town centers for so long. You see dire flood control coming in as well as Yoshi is literally just rushing every little bit of, uh, every little bit of upgrades he possibly can. Another mana coming up, throwing up some more buildings around here. Wouldn't go astray as the, uh, as the, the walls are coming down here, if this wall gets up, I mean, it might get up in time. It's not a bad try, and it does look like... Whoop. Shelty's deciding to go a different way. Wall gets up here. He doesn't need to finish it. He's going to, but he doesn't need to. He just needs to put the one wall there, and he can delete the wall segments on the sides. If the priests sneak through, it's not a big deal. You still have to get the big siege towers in. As the units here delaying beautifully as Yoshi 
He's trying to pump units out. He's making himself catapulties. Catapulties are a very, very hard counter for all those siege towers. It's not a bad idea, but this is very different in terms of the defense that I normally see against Priest Siege. But a great idea here. A great idea here for... Uh, for shelties. We see the spider eggs coming in. Unfortunately, no real value out of those spider eggs. The, the Gaia Forest getting used. He could have used the Gaia Forest on this position. That would have been hilarious to block the units in. As we do see a military barracks getting dropped in here on this position. We do see the, the walls getting broken down as well. Military barracks just about up. This citizen looks like it might get taken down. The priest getting so much damage done there as three scorpion men are already out here for Shelty. The town center going to be getting taken down very, very quickly. The units popping out. We do see three hero Terma going to attempt to defend over here, getting that damage done. Ancestors Eclipse gets dropped down and the army, simply put, just needs to retreat. All the villagers have retreated. We see another town center coming up on this position. A little bit crazy to grab that one. Again, I think that getting to that heroic age is the most important thing to do here, but the villagers going to pull back. We see some more walls coming up in the main base. The town center is now down. The manors are going to get taken out here. Yoshi's at 93 of 115 population. Shelty here at 120 population because of those relics there. As the Scorpion men are going to be searching around to pick off some villagers, the army turns around. Lots of favor in the back here in all honesty for Yoshi he can make himself hero units no problems here as uh, he's going to be able to pick off these scorpion men in the main base here Shelty not taking good enough care of those in all honesty but all the siege towers are out here the uh Human, uh, the military unit is trying to come through and trying to snipe down as much of the HP on those siege towers as he possibly can. But the priest going to get some damage done, retreating away. Scorpion Man can get healed back up there from those Spirit of Mark priests. Uh, but Yoshi here didn't really lose that many villagers. He's in a great position right now. He just needs to get his defenses back up, get himself the uh, uh, the, the manners up, the military buildings up, and most, Im most importantly, get himself... Uh, his home base defended and military units out. Right now, he's in a big, big uh, hole in terms of population. So he needs to get those houses up all over the place. Houses coming up over here as well. Lots of those manors have been taken out. The citizens, they can defend the town center very easily uh, as those siege towers go down very, very quickly. But Shelty has taken his time with this attack. Still no town center up. I wouldn't mind seeing a potential for like a, a, a mythic age coming through here for Shelty if it's at all possible. I mean, at the moment here is also kind of left open open on those gold mines so Yoshi can get some cheeky raids in there if, if at all possible. Unfortunately for Yoshi, his farms getting pushed off of these are really, really important for Yoshi in this one. As the siege towers are pushing through, uh, we do see some citizens popping out, but they are getting taken down very, very quickly. Look at this siege tower, 14 HP, one citizen falling as the citizens retreating back yet again. More counter barracks coming up here as the term are not the unit to build, but he has, probably has to because he's got no food in the bank here as the town center going down and Yoshi in that moment does decide to tap out. I feel like he was like inches away from absolutely defending here, but there's just so many priests. And if you don't go to the heroic age, you don't get the Contarius. No, Contarius absolutely shred through this. Sacking, like getting those walls up, sacking this town center and then hitting heroic age and then being able to make a whole bunch of Contarius would make so much more sense here, but unfortunately, Yoshi doesn't go for it. He does, he obviously he didn't have any food, so he's having a bit of a trouble to get to that that heroic age, but it, it just didn't quite work out for him here. Losing all those manners, I think that really slowed him down. Lots of wood in the bank. These farms on this position probably didn't really think about the way in which the siege towers would have come through. I mean, it, hindsight is twenty twenty, but farms on the back side of his base over here or even just like off into a corner somewhere over on the back corner just so that he can continue getting that food through would have been a, a, a way to continue here but just not able to make it work Shelty off to a red hot start here taking the first game if you guys enjoyed this one please consider the follow on the twitch if you're on the youtubes hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next game